You know, it's so, so exciting as a new North Texan, Scott, to see the story of Big Tex, right? And yeah. and really understand that it is a traditions long thing. And like you heard the, the woman from Karen say, you know, he's going to be here longer longer than I will. Yeah. So and I many love pictures. seeing that. Yeah, so many pictures taken. And Nicole, the first time that you hear, howdy, folks. Howdy, folks. And we all try to do it, uh, <laughs> but it's nothing like Big Tech saying it. It's just a memory when you're out there. So uh, it's going to be great for the opening of the state fair. So get out uh, if you can. Have the sunscreen on. Right now, I wanted to start with the current temperatures because this helps tell the story a bit more. The dry air is in place. If you step outside right now, it is fantastic. Windows open. It is beautiful weather. And watch this as we go through the night tonight into tomorrow morning for your finally Friday morning and the opening of the state fair by seven in the morning. Some spots in the upper 40s to the low 50s. My mom shivered right now. I know that you did, mom. Uh, we're at 58 for Fort Worth and then the low 60s in Breckenridge. Uh, you might need that light jacket, but then hour by hour for tomorrow. Gates opening at 9 a.m. and here you are 64 degrees sunny skies on the way. We will see it up to 82 for your high temperature and the UV index will go into the high category between about noon to two or three, definitely make sure you have the sunscreen on and keep it around for the opening weekend because we're going to be seeing plenty of sunshine Saturday and Sunday temperatures in the mid 80s of the dry air sticking around. So great opening weekend. Do want to point out though, yes, the dry air has been in place. However, the droughts starting to creep back into parts of North Texas, moderate to severe drought in parts of Palo Pinto County, where we showed you that fire burning a little bit earlier to even extreme drought down towards the south and southwest. And over the next 10 days, we're going to be seeing temperatures remaining in the mid 80s to the upper 80s into midweek next week, but no significant rain chances in this next 10 day period. So that's some good weather for you to head to the state fair. However, the fire threat this week is definitely up there because of low humidity levels in place. And we do have low humidity right now at 47% with a temperature of 71, but it is gorgeous as you step on out of the door. However, <laughs> pollen, not great. Uh, today, it's been knocking me on my dupa. We're, uh, you know, it's in the high category. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, ragweed, grass, and elm in that medium high category. Other big story we brought it to you at the beginning of the newscast uh, is Hurricane Ian out over the West Atlantic, continuing to turn its way over these very warm waters. And a lot of that water is going to be transported inland. You can see in some spots as much as 10 inches of rain to 10 to 15 inches of rain through the Carolinas, even into parts of Virginia, West Virginia, two and a half to three inches of rain as Ian is a category one hurricane moving towards the north northeast at 10 and then eventually will making its way back on shore sometime late tomorrow afternoon as that category one hurricane. But the seven day forecast just paints this beautiful picture. Dry skies, a little bit warm by next Wednesday, up to near 90 degrees. And I'm thinking of a cinnamon roll. Already. Oh, with the nuts. We got to have oh, the nuts, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, icing. Oh, I'm excited. Scotty, thank you. Yeah.